Hey friends, my name's Ryan. And I'm Bree. And on this video, we're going to Steakhouse 71 at the Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World. We're gonna check out their onion rings, this loaded cheeseburger, show you some of the kids' desserts, and one of our perhaps new favorite dessert on Walt Disney World property. Steakhouse 71 is located in the Contemporary Resort and we do recommend that you get a reservation as they can fill up quickly but you can walk up and try to see if they have any openings so our reservation time was coming up we went upstairs checked out the shop tried to find a three-legged goat up on the wall you got chef mickey's we'll show you that in another video and another really great restaurant on this floor right here the california grill we've eaten here it's another great place to go but we're headed to steakhouse 71 now that's the year that Walt Disney World opened the Magic Kingdom. So I was really excited to come check out this menu, try out some of the food, and it has a great theming of that era. As you walk in, you can see Walt Disney here on the wall with his photos of getting the park built. And this one in particular, I was really excited to see. I'll explain to you why at the end of the video. You can see some of the seating here if you're waiting for your reservation and you don't want to go upstairs like we did to check out the shops. They have a couple TVs. They got a bar area so you could always walk up and maybe uh, see if there's any bar seating and watch a game or just sit up here and relax with some friends. This opened in October of 2021 so it's a pretty nice newer restaurant on Disney property. So our table was ready and we headed on over. Steakhouse 71 is typically open from 7.30 in the morning to 9 p.m. at night. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're about to look at the lunch menu, but the real steakhouse menu comes out for dinner. We'll try to come back and have dinner sometime soon, but I love this artwork back behind us of 2,000 leagues under the sea. It was actually a ride my dad worked on. I'll talk about that later in the video. So now that we're at our seats, we've got our menus and we're gonna take a few moments to just go over the lunch menu with you here at Steakhouse 71. So they've got some appetizers, they have soups and salads, some onion rings and crab cakes. Everything looked delicious, but we decided to go ahead and get the Steakhouse 71 onion rings. That was a recommendation to us, I believe. Yes, it was. So we'll show you those Steakhouse 71 onion rings here in just a moment. So along with appetizers, they also have a number of different entrees. They have sandwiches, burgers, salmon, grilled cheese, which is gourmet, and some Salisbury steak or vegetable wellington. So a number of different options, and I will say they do have a number of these items on an allergy-friendly menu as well as vegan friendly and desserts of course the steakhouse 71 chocolate cake we couldn't pass that up or if you're not in the mood for that they have an apple tart ambrosia or creme brulee and some fun kid specialty drinks if you want to let your kids get something unique yeah we're excited to try out this chocolate cake that too was recommended to us and they have a number of kids options like cheeseburger fresh fish, chicken wings, or what I kept telling my kids to order was the beef filet, although they didn't take me up on that. <laughs> you can see here there are a number of selections for the kids menu. Keep in mind the bottom right says ice cream sundae. I would recommend you have the kids get the ice cream sundae. We're going to show you that. That's actually a really fun thing that they can do. Finally, they do have a number of specialty cocktails. We're not going to read you each one, but you can pause and check some of these out, as well as a number of beer and wines and various drinks. If you wanna check out the drink menu, we'll put a link to the entire menu in the description of this video, but let's head back into the restaurant here and check out some of this food. Our onion rings came out hot and crispy and they came with the spicy ranch, which I think half of our family liked and the other half just asked for regular ranch, but they were delicious. We really enjoyed them. These were a great appetizer. The kids loved them. Everybody at the table was very happy. Hannah said they were fantastico, and we all enjoyed these as an appetizer. Then our main entrees came. First, the kids' cheeseburger. This was $13, a side of mashed potatoes and broccoli. 
Again, you can get a sundae as a side, which we'll show you that here shortly. The other kid's meal was another kid's cheeseburger. This one just had french fries with the sundae as the second side, and that's what we're gonna suggest. If you do come here, definitely get the kid's sundae. And then here was the main hamburger that we got. This is called the Stack Burger, and it was quite delicious. Layers of cheese, onions, pork belly, and pickles, all on a very yummy toasted bun. So Bree took her time to cut this in half. She's actually gonna share this with Micah, but take a look on the inside here. With lots of pork belly. And it was cooked very well. It was very moist, very juicy, just the way a burger should be. So Micah was excited to put this burger to the test and he enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed it. It's dessert time. Here's a look at that kids sundae that you can get. So we would recommend if you're gonna get two sides for the kids, this is a lot of fun. And uh, definitely go with the kids sundae here at Steakhouse 71. And then we ordered this chocolate cake. Tell us about the chocolate cake, Brie. This is the best chocolate cake I think I have ever had. Just layers and layers of chocolate and fudgy icing. It was so, so good. I definitely plan on going back and getting more, and I'm hoping every time I'm at the Contemporary, they'll let me just stop by and pick up a piece. Yeah, this did not last long on the table. It was enjoyed by everybody, so definitely Get yourself an $11 chocolate cake, it's pretty good. Here's a look at our bill total. It came out to $69.58, which we thought was a pretty good deal for eating at Disney World, as the food was fantastic. On our way out, we ran into Nate from paging Mr. Morrow here in this hallway, but it actually wasn't the coolest thing that I found in this hallway. This big picture of the castle and all the original cast members in 1971 we were able to find my dad right here, who was a cast member in 1971, and it really made my day to find my dad, the kid's grandfather, and we just overall had a fantastic experience here at Steakhouse 71. And I already know Bree's answer if she'd come back based on the chocolate cake. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we'll definitely come back and try some more food. We hope you've enjoyed joining us on today's adventure. Feel free to subscribe and check out this other video. Until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.